there's a body of knowledge of science to be taught and generally the way we teach science is that there's a textbook and we say let's go through page textbook page one two three four five six seven finish maybe we'll cut out a couple of the interesting chapters on electromagnetism the students are too dumb for that anyway and we and after we do that we say content for the semester done and I think it's also important to insert into those courses the idea that students have familiar with materials and maybe even experiences related to funds of knowledge so related to their backgrounds and beliefs and experiences that are either materials connected with science or beliefs and materials connected with actually doing science. There's all sorts of science that relate to things that co kids are familiar with. And then the second point is that science doesn't always have to be, in fact science is not, perpetual accumulation of informational knowledge. If we didn't ask questions in science and tr attempt to solve them, we would never move forward in science. It's just that often the questions are so technical in, in the fields that students work that they don't have the specialization to pursue those questions. But I think students can still be, be, get hints of those questions in all sorts of different ways. They can work in the lab of someone senior and develop questions and then go and if it's a teacher who does that, go back to his or her students and do a quarter on what that material was, bring in the scientists, do an overview of that topic, and spend a, a chunk of time setting up the foundation to explain how that was a question and it wasn't just a mental exercise mem memorizing tool. So, you know, we talk a lot about, because I think a lot of where we lose kids is where they lo we lose them, frankly, in history as well. It's a belief that, oh, okay, I just have to memorize the book and then I get the passing grade. But it's not actually interesting. If I had a question, I wouldn't look up a science book. I mean, if I, if I had a question, I would look up the internet. So this idea of process, that there's an interesting way of answering a question in a set of methods is, um, is a process, an interesting process. And that it has been relied upon in various diverse forms for thousands of years. And to not know that means you're missing out on something really interesting. You're missing out on inquiry as a mode of thinking. Um, and I think we lose so many black, Hispanic, and female scientists every year because, and you, and you know, other students, students from low income, students who don't get an adequate science background, um, students with various disabilities whose needs aren't met, I feel like we really miss out on those students in particular, um, in part because they, in part maybe because they're not willing to jump the step every time they're told to do so. They want something more than that. And those are the students we want. We want the students who say, I don't want it just the regular way. I, I want it to be meaningful to me and I want it to make sense to me. And I, I mean, that's a generalization. Like, I can't say that every kid in the world is going to be interested in science, but I hope that every kid at some level is interested in science. If not for their entire lives, then for some mo mo moment, something really sticks out to them.